At the British Deer Society, we're really pleased that so many people have made good use of the BDS Deer app, including some of the great features such as recording sightings that help us with our distribution surveys. Over a thousand sightings have been recorded so far since we launched the app, which is a really great response. Today we're going to take a quick look at how it works and refresh ourselves on how we can make a sighting report in the field and retrospectively once we get home. If I'm out in the woods and I see a deer and want to record the sighting, I just open the app and click on deer sighting. I identify the species that I've seen, in this case a muntjac, and click on that. Because my telephone's location settings are activated, it's picking up my current location and giving me latitude and longitude, northings and eastings, and also the useful what three words system. Let's go down. As you can see, use my location is, is um, applied. How many did I see? In this case, one. Choose an observation type. Click on that. This deer was very much alive in the woodland behind me. I could add any notes if I wanted to. I can toggle across to say if I'm a BDS member or not and put my membership number in. And I can even add an image from the telephone's gallery. Once that's all done, click on confirm sighting and it opens up my emails. Click the email icon and it simply generates an email that I touch send and off it goes to the British Deer Society headquarters and I get a response saying thank you for reporting a sighting. Couldn't be simpler. Return to dashboard and then we're free to use any of the other features on this excellent app. Now let's look at how we can record a sighting retrospectively. Maybe we were driving or simply didn't have our phone with us. On my smartphone, I'm going to open what three words. I'm expanding the area and looking for a place where I saw three red deer earlier today. I save the location and here it's given me the three word reference radar livid fight. If I hold that, it saves it to the clipboard. I can now close this app and open the BDS app. We're going to deer sighting. Red deer. Now this is important. We need to switch off the use my location section. And that up opens up a new menu which gives us options to write an address, enter latitude and longitude, enter a British grid reference, the OS grid reference, or in this case we're going to use what three words. Hold it down, it gives me the option to paste. There we go, radar, livid, fight. Done. How many did I see? Three, done. Observation type, they were alive. Notes, I saw two hinds and a stag calf. Confirm sighting, confirm sighting. As before, it opens up the emails, generates an email and off it goes to the BDS. Get my report. Thank you very much for reporting the sighting. Return to dashboard. Just very quickly, let's look at other options. We could use ordnance survey maps on the telephone. We could simply use an address or postcode or any of the other uh, location features that you commonly find on a modern phone. I hope that's been of some use. Thanks again for using it and thanks for reporting all the sightings that we've received so far. It really helps our research.